NASA says it has an instrument on board, and there's a lot of data to pour through. More than a terabyte and a half has already streamed right down from space. The possibility of life at other planetary systems someplace is very high. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has been venturing through the vast expanse of outer space, surpassing all expectations since its launch. Initially designed to last only five years, this resilient spacecraft has defied predictions and ventured further than ever imagined. Now, it has achieved something extraordinary. Voyager 1 has recently detected the presence of 300 unidentified objects passing through the cosmic realm, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. These objects emit mysterious plasma containing remnants of explosive events from ancient stars existing millions of years ago and carrying the magnetic essence of our galaxy. So, join us as we unravel the secrets of these unknown entities and explore how this groundbreaking discovery could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. While we've been accustomed to analyzing data from within our solar system, the Voyager 1 mission has granted us a remarkable opportunity to access data from beyond. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved a significant milestone by officially reaching the outer limits of our solar system, known as the Heliopause. However, this achievement came with its fair share of challenges. As Voyager 1 ventured farther away from the Sun, the amount of available sunlight to power its instruments and systems gradually diminished. The spacecraft primarily relies on three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, to convert the heat produced by the natural decay of plutonium 238 into electricity. Over time, the declining heat output of the RTG has resulted in a reduction of available power. This decline in power has affected the operation of various systems on board, including scientific instruments, data transmission, and communication capabilities. To conserve energy, certain non essential systems and instruments have been deactivated or placed in a dormant state. However, as the power continues to decline, Critical systems may require further optimization or shutdown to extend Voyager 1's operational lifespan. Without intervention, its operational capabilities will be severely limited, rendering it potentially useless. Furthermore, the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth presents a significant hurdle in maintaining effective communication. As the spacecraft ventured into interstellar space, the strength of the signal it sends back to Earth weakened considerably. Currently, it takes over 21 hours for signals to travel from Voyager 1 to our planet. The weak signal, combined with interference from background noise, poses a substantial obstacle to successful data transmission and reception. In addition to communication challenges, Voyager 1 also faces extreme temperature variations. Transitioning from the heliosphere to interstellar space exposes the spacecraft to drastically different temperature conditions. Within the heliosphere, Voyager 1 experienced higher temperatures due to its proximity to the Sun. However, as it entered interstellar space, it encountered extremely low temperatures. These temperature extremes can impact the spacecraft's materials, electronic components, and systems. Thermal stress, expansion, and contraction cycles may affect the structural integrity of certain parts, and extreme cold can make materials brittle, leading to fractures or degradation of seals and connectors. Moreover, Interstellar space is not completely devoid of matter. It contains a sparse distribution of minuscule dust particles. While small in size, these particles pose a potential risk to Voyager 1. When the spacecraft encounters interstellar dust, the particles can collide with its exterior surfaces, causing wear and tear on protective coatings, antenna surfaces, or other sensitive areas. The accumulation of dust on the instrument's optics or sensors can interfere with their functionality, degrading the quality of data obtained. Voyager 1 does carry a dust detector instrument specifically designed to measure the density of interstellar dust, but it still faces challenges in mitigating the effects of dust accumulation. Furthermore, the Deep Space Network, NASA's global system of antennas for communicating with deep space missions, must allocate limited resources to receive Voyager 1 signals. As a result, communication opportunities with the spacecraft have become infrequent compared to previous years. Although Voyager 1 sends a jumble of signals from deep space, making it incredibly challenging for scientists to decipher their meaning, hidden within the perplexing transmissions, Voyager 1 detected something extraordinary, an anomaly that captivates the attention of scientists worldwide. 
the spacecraft has registered the presence of not just one or two, but a staggering 300 unknown objects passing through the vast cosmic expanse. The revelation sends shockwaves through the scientific community, leaving researchers on the edge of their seats. These enigmatic entities, emerging from the depths of interstellar space, spark curiosity and bewilderment. What could these unidentified objects be? Are they remnants of ancient celestial bodies, wandering relics from distant star systems, or do they signify the existence of previously unknown phenomena, uncharted realms waiting to be unraveled? The complexity deepens as the scrambled nature of the transmitted data complicates the analysis. Although the questions abound, answers remain elusive. However, amidst the sea of uncertainty, one thing becomes increasingly clear. Voyager 1 itself remains seemingly untouched by this strange occurrence. The spacecraft continues to operate flawlessly, carrying out its data collection activities with precision and perseverance. Even more intriguing, the communication link between Voyager 1 and Earth remains intact, with the signal strength holding strong. This crucial connection allows valuable information to be sent back to NASA, offering a glimmer of hope that the mysteries concealed within the jumbled signals may eventually be deciphered. Eager to unravel this cosmic mystery, the research team at NASA embarks on an extensive and meticulous investigation. They painstakingly examine every aspect of Voyager 1 systems, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for answers. They consider the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and meticulously scrutinize the effects of temperature fluctuations on the spacecraft's sensitive instruments. The research team faces numerous possibilities. Could external cosmic phenomena, such as radiation or high-energy particles, interfere with the transmitted data, causing its scrambled nature? Or is there an entirely unknown phenomenon at play, challenging our understanding of space and communication in the interstellar realm? To find the truth, the scientists and engineers at NASA employ advanced data processing techniques, develop innovative algorithms, and simulate various scenarios. Their goal is to isolate the root cause of the unusual telemetry anomalies that have perplexed them for so long. Weeks turn into months as the research team tirelessly processes the scrambled data, meticulously analyzing every detail. The task demands patience, expertise, and an unwavering commitment to unraveling the cosmic puzzle. They face sleepless nights and countless iterations, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a determination to solve the mystery presented by Voyager 1's transmissions. Finally, after painstaking efforts, a breakthrough emerges from the depths of their investigation. The root cause of the problem is traced back to Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system. Astonishingly, it is an unexpected source a dormant onboard computer that inexplicably starts functioning, corrupting the transmitted data. Armed with this newfound knowledge, NASA engineers swiftly devise a solution. They send a command to Voyager 1, instructing the ACS system to switch to the correct computer for transmitting telemetry data. This low-risk fix requires immense patience due to the vast distance between Earth and the spacecraft. Radio signals take nearly 22 hours to travel back and forth, demanding precise coordination and strategic troubleshooting. Upon investigating the causes of the communication issues, engineers suspected that Voyager 1's deviation into utilizing a non-operational computer was triggered by a faulty command from another onboard system. This hypothesis suggests an underlying issue within the spacecraft's intricate computer network. However, mission managers remain cautiously optimistic emphasizing that this incident does not pose a significant threat to Voyager 1's long-term well-being. The spacecraft's resilience is truly remarkable. After the correct computers were back online, Voyager 1 resumed its mission and reached a historic milestone by successfully crossing the heliopause. The heliopause is the boundary that marks the outer reaches of our solar system, where the sun's solar wind meets the interstellar medium. It is located approximately 123 astronomical units from the Sun, equivalent to a staggering 11 billion miles. The heliopause's unique nature adds to its intrigue. Its shape fluctuates, influenced by the interstellar gas wind caused by the Sun's motion through space. As the Sun travels, it creates a magnetic bubble or foam within this boundary, shaping the outermost region of the heliosphere, which is influenced by the Sun's magnetic field and energetic particles. 
This magnetic foam contributes to the intricate structure and behavior of the heliopause. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, several remarkable events occurred. Firstly, there was a noticeable drop in the temperature of the solar wind-charged particles as the spacecraft moved beyond the influence of the sun's direct emissions. This drop alone is enough to render most spacecraft useless. Despite not being designed to reach such distances, Voyager 1 defied the odds and continued its mission with unwavering determination. Additionally, the direction of the magnetic field experienced a change, reflecting the altered influence of interstellar magnetic forces. There was also a significant increase in the presence of galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles from distant cosmic sources beyond the heliopause. These cosmic rays, which start to appear right before reaching the heliopause, became even more prominent in interstellar space. Voyager 1, being the first of the twin spacecraft to reach this momentous milestone, provided humanity with its initial glimpse into the uncharted territories beyond the heliopause. It shed light on the mysterious transition from the sun's domain to the vastness of deep space. In November 2018, Voyager 2 followed suit, crossing the heliopause and venturing into interstellar space, making yet another historic achievement. Voyager 2's encounter with the heliopause offered scientists a unique opportunity to compare and contrast the observations made by both spacecraft, deepening our understanding of this celestial frontier. One notable observation was the sharp decrease in the intensity of low-energy ions, a direct result of leaving the influence of the sun's direct emissions. Voyager 2 also detected a simultaneous increase in the intensity of cosmic rays originating from distant cosmic sources. These incredible findings highlight the complexity of the interstellar boundary and the unpredictable nature of space. Even two seemingly identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, had vastly different experiences. This presents a challenge for future spacecraft venturing into the same area, as their encounters may differ significantly. Nevertheless, NASA is determined to push the boundaries of knowledge and exploration with plans for the ambitious interstellar probe. The interstellar probe is a groundbreaking NASA space probe concept proposed in 2018. It aims to go beyond the achievements of the Voyager spacecraft, embarking on a multi-decade journey that will take it hundreds of astronomical units away from Earth. The probe's primary objective is to gather comprehensive measurements and insights into the conditions prevailing throughout the heliosphere and the heliosheath, the outer layer of the sun's bubble of charged particles. By utilizing advanced contemporary technology, the interstellar probe represents a significant leap forward in interstellar exploration. Its mission not only pushes the boundaries of our understanding but also serves as a roadmap for future, even riskier endeavors into the vast expanse of space. The interstellar probe will pave the way for further scientific and technological advancements, enriching our knowledge of the universe and our place within it. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what do you think about these strange objects detected by Voyager 1? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here that you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.